take a look at uh, what the, our shot is. A tilt down of the city of New York. And so what they want us to do is to use uh, so combine a couple effects to kind of make this a more dramatic entrance. So um, uh, imagine the story is that this looks like it's the city from the past. And now it's the city today, is essentially the story that we're telling. So what we'll start with is we'll go into the blur section, and we will add a radial blur to the comp. And what they want us to do is to move the, uh, the blur up here into this upper right section. Give us a little bit more of a sense of tunnel vision. I'm going to set the anti-aliasing on high to make the effect even neater. And there's two kinds of um, uh, blur effects. We've got spin and we've got zoom. And if we stretch out zoom, it can be a pretty cool looking effect. So I'm going to go with zoom. We're really amount of zoom so I'm going to take that amount there and, and then I'm going to scrub down to where you see that taxi when the taxi enters we will go back to zero so I'm going to render that and see what it looks like Okay, so the blur effect is working, and now what they want us to do is uh, add a tint effect. So let's go into color correction. We'll find tint and we'll drag that onto the comp, and I'm going to blank out the blur just for a second. And you, as you'll see, that the, the the tint automatically gives us a uh, a black and white effect which is not what we want, so I'm going to make the uh, blend uh, the amount of tint to zero so that we can see our actual colors. And I'm going to pick some colors from this actual scene. So we'll kind of pick this dingy white, and we'll pick this sort of brownish black, and then we'll pick a, an effect. Let's see. Let me pick a different brown. Okay, something darker. Alrighty, so that looks a little oldy timey. And so we will keyframe that amount of tint at the top. Once we reach the end of our blur, we will set that to zero. Then we'll turn back on our blur and we'll take a look at the effect. Okay, and now let's take a look at radial blur, just this, the spin, see if it's any sexier. Yep, and I can tell right now that we've got too much for that, so let's back it off. OK, 
Okay, so pick one or the other. Um, that's still a little too much. I'm going to make it 12. There we go. And then if you want to shorten the amount of stuff that happens here, I'm going to move the render bar here. And so that way it'll only, when you render this project, it'll only render those five seconds. So that's what you will do for this comp.